Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another amazing episode of Life in Easy Tang. I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually use an external hard drive, something like this on your Xbox One, which mine is currently down there. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can use this to increase the storage capacity of your current Xbox. Because we all know uh, games can take up a lot of storage on your Xbox and you wanna be able to install more over time without deleting older games because you want to have as many games on your system at once and it's annoying to have to completely to uninstall games and then reinstall them over time. I want to give a quick shout out to College Music Podcast. I'll probably put like a picture right here. Everyone who goes over there and whoever's watching this video goes over to the College Maisie podcast linked below. We have a YouTube channel and an audio version. Go ahead over to the YouTube channel, leave a like on our most recent upload and subscribe. Just comment anything and I'll be giving exclusive shout outs to all those people on the next video on Life Made Easy. Um, shout outs to Tracy Markley and the Titanium Ninja. I'll put their names up right here. Um, thank you for thank you so much for being uh, channel members. If you guys want to become a member and help support the channel and get shout outs just like them, hit the join button down below. Super easy. Um, I have two memberships going on right now. You can choose which one you want to do. Up to you guys. So without further ado, let's hop into actually plugging in the uh, hard drive itself and then I'm going to walk you through everything on the Xbox One console. Okay guys, so I'm doing this for the first time with you so you can see every every step of the way um, of this process. Xbox right there, nice Battlefront 2 background, love that game. So this is a WD Element 2TB uh, external hard drive. Just quick side note, if you do want to use a external hard drive on your Xbox One, let me just plug this in real quick, I think that's plugged in pretty well. If you want to use an external hard drive on your Xbox One, it has to be USB um, 3.0. Uh, it has 3.0 speeds. Usually you can identify it by that blue USB uh, A port right there. That usually lets you know it's 3.0 because it has to have a certain amount of speed in order to be compatible and work. I am just going to plug this into a USB port in the back of my console. If I can just, yeah, I got two, there's two back here, I believe. I don't see any more, um, but I'm going to be plugging this in back here. I wish I could plug it in properly. Um, the nice thing about this is that uh, you don't need any external power for the hard drive. The Xbox itself powers it up. So as you can see right here, it identifies it. Focus. Um, okay, so it identifies it, and we're we'll walking over everything on my computer now. Okay, guys, so we are back. We're currently on my Xbox screen. Sorry, I don't have a webcam, but uh, using my Blue Yeti mic, it's going to ask you once you plug it in, use for media or games and apps. So you can use it for media if you don't want to format it and erase everything, but if you want to use it for games and apps, says the drive needs to be formatted. Formatting basically means just erase everything on the drive. I mean, there's nothing on here anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and select format device. Um, you can name, you can change the name of it. I guess I'll just keep elements. I don't know. Uh, also, it's kind of annoying how hard drives are never, the amount of storage that hard drives actually have are never the same as they are advertised. Just keep that in mind how it says 1.8 terabytes on the right hand side and not two terabytes. Um, I don't know where that 0.2 terabytes is going, but for those who are unaware how terabytes work, one terabyte equals a thousand gigs. So right now I have roughly 1800 gigabytes of storage, which should be plenty to download all my games because I've been currently just using 500 gigabytes of storage, which has honestly been a pain in the butt, but it's all good. Uh, so install things on elements or by default so elements being my hard drive if you make elements the place to install new games and apps we'll use that from now on you can change this at any time under settings i'm going to install new things here uh just that makes the most sense because my 500 gig uh hard drive is basically filled up when formatting is done, you'll be able to use it for games, blah, blah, blah. And, okay, that sounds good. This should take one second, considering, um, yeah, external. Let's open it up. It says it's ready. I mean, it should be ready. So, as you can see, okay, apparently it just wants to go to my games and apps. But, um, 
Oh, I'm currently on the drive itself. Okay, so yeah, I have nothing on here at the moment. I was, I was a little confused, but it says in the bottom left, uh, all storage, 1.8 terabytes. So 14.6 is taken up. Um, that's all storage. So that's a tiny percentage, which is amazing. Uh, let me go back into my games and apps and let's see all. So I have 1.8 terabytes free. Um, if you, you can move data, like if you go to manage game and add-ons, like say for Battlefield 5, this is 81 gigabytes, which is massive. Uh, I wish games would be smaller, but it's all good. And we have these options to move all, copy all, and uninstall all. Uninstall, you just delete the game, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to copy all, you can copy this over to the other drive. Um, and then move all, obviously, uh, if you just want to move the whole game to a certain drive and not uh, copy it, basically, not have two copies of it. I mean, you can do so, like, if you want to copy it and move it to, uh, so this would be taking it from my internal drive, which it's already installed under, and moving it to my elements external hard drive. That's, that's that. Um, so let me go into settings. Okay, they changed up Xbox, which is kind of annoying. If you want to add me on Xbox, you can. Baseball better one. Um, but we should go to system and then storage. And so here, <laughs> Xbox C60 storage, that's sick. Um, here, this is where you can manage your storage. As you can see on my internal uh hard drive I only it's 89.4% uh, complete or filled up and I only have like 38 gigs left which is ridiculous uh, and as you can see my elements hard drive is at zero I wish it was two terabytes fully but uh, yeah as you can see here on the left hand side it's like it has to be USB 3.0 or faster and 120 gigabytes or larger um, and must be formatted by Xbox so just keep that in mind if you're looking for an external hard drive. I'll probably link uh, mine in the description because there's a really good deal going on right now on Amazon. I think it's like 60 bucks for this for two terabytes. Absolute steal. Highly recommend you guys go pick this one up. I mean, it's black, small, lightweight. It doesn't get in the way. The wires is the wire is small, plugs right back, in, back plugs into the back of the Xbox console. Um, powered by the Xbox. Uh, yeah, there's like no issues with this to be honest, which is fantastic. But you can, I could go in here, uninstall things, move it, transfer it to my other drive. And um, I can't really uninstall anything here, obviously, because there's nothing on it. But I'm going to be working on moving all my data over here. Uh, so I can, uh, yeah, get more storage, which is awesome. Uh, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And don't forget to head over to College of Maisie Podcast, my podcast, which is linked down in the description. If you guys want those shout outs, I'd be happy to shout out anyone who heads over there and just leaves a comment um, and who supports me on that. We're trying to hit 100 subs, honestly, so any support is great. We're currently at like 73. But yeah, I think using an external hard drive on an Xbox is amazing. They make it really simple, as you can see in the in this uh, whole process that I walked through. So hopefully you found it useful. I'll see you guys on the next upcoming video by yours truly, Life Mean Easy. You can also check out my merch in the description and then check out the Amazon link for this product specifically. Peace out, guys.